Good evening and welcome to SIAC. I'm Ming Fong, the graduate uh, study director here. Um, spotlight. Made in China. Over the last 20 years, China has become known as the factory of the world. Made in China is globally recognized as symbolizing cheap products and low quality. However, in the post-globalization era, the whole world has set its eyes on China, a country that is advancing rapidly in economy, culture, and arts, as well as other, as, as well as in other realms. As a consequence, many of us have looked towards Asia with a typical Western eye. Recently, with the wave of European and American architects commissioned to design impressive structure in China, we have begun to look at China as a great patron of contemporary architecture. But I can say that we have not looked at China as a source of innovative architecture until very recently. One of the reasons behind this awakening is our guest tonight. It may come as a bit of a shock to come upon a Beijing-based architecture design studio who teases us with projects which might have originated anywhere on the globe. This in itself is interesting that certain images seem to have found a way to lose their natural the national and cultural identity as the global culture transcends regional and local boundaries. One might ask, do common tools produce common results? Or more provocatively, are common tools able to erase millennia of cultural evolution? Can common tools, in other words, create a singular world view. A growing number of talented young Chinese architects are performing an increasingly important role in preventing Beijing from becoming just another Western-inspired architectural playground. They belong to a promising new generation that has emerged with its own individuality producing work that refers to the latest international trends, but that has not lost track of China's rich building heritage. Combining an understanding of local craft traditions and the fabric of urban life with contemporary approaches to technology and new materials, these designers are pushing the creative envelope and changing the built environment in a way that has never been attempted before. Ma has said, and I quote, China has grown very fast, and the country faces very distinct challenges. This gives China the opportunity to create a unique solution and do something different for the future. In China, we describe the Chinese tradition the older generation, they understand this tradition as very symbolic, bamboo, courtyard, etc. But our understanding is that maybe Chinese tradition is invention, change the old conventions. I think there is a chance for us, the new generation, to do something new, unquote. MAD, an abbreviation of Ma Design, is named after our guest. After a master's degree in 2002 from the Yale School of Architecture, he has worked for Peter Eisenman and Zaha Hadid in London before he returned to China. He has taught architecture at the Central Academy of Fine Arts in Beijing and has also won the Architectural League of New York 2006 Young Architects and Exhibit Design Collection called Mad in China at the Venice Biennale, amongst other Biennale exhibitions that you know, are just too many to name. 
in 2004, he started MAD and began entering competitions, more than 100 of them. It's pretty impressive. After the disappointment we all feel when these winning designs were built, finally, Ma hit the jackpot. A couple are under construction, and one of them even has a nickname, a very sexy one, after Hollywood star. And we hope to hear about it tonight among some other build projects of math architecture and also the ongoing projects. Please welcome Yang Song Ma. Arc um, just arrived today. Um, I, like, I like the uh, LA landscape and weather. Um, today, the uh, topic I would like to combine um, our projects also with uh, a recent publication we just finished uh, a book called uh, Mad Dinner. So I will start uh, with this. Uh, as a form just mentioned, uh, our studio started in 2004, so we only have a four-year uh, history, very short. And we did uh, uh, 100 competitions in, in the first two years, and we didn't uh, win. Sometimes we win, but they don't build. And, and after these two years, we start to do some real projects and some of them uh, under construction now. Um, but so far we only have one building completed in Beijing, very small one. We have, uh, right now we have uh, 40 art, uh, designers uh, in the office. And uh, by way of, we are like working uh, on like 80 people's job. The, the workload is very busy. Uh, Anyway, I just started uh, <coughs> So, my dinner is uh, the first book of our studio. And the whole idea is we did a too, lot of competition, we did a too many projects, but we should understand what we are doing in China because we, we you know, in the studio we <coughs> use 3D software, we, we make drawings, but when we go out, meet people and uh, meet uh, Society, we we found some sometimes we will be kind of uh, isolate from from Chinese situation. So we start by doing this book. We thought maybe we can go out to meet more people and understand what they think about uh, China. So th this quite uh, we, in the book we collect some very interesting image. This uh, this a photo by an artist, and this like I. Um, old uh, Chinese army and they, they kind of eat together and they talk about some uh, topic we, and they, they have some iPods on, in, their, in their hand. And <clears throat> in China it's very, you know, all the argument, all the debate and the discussion happen around the uh, table, uh, dinner table. So <clears throat> we thought maybe we can go out from from our studio, go uh, go to meet many people and uh, discuss, and then we bring back the feedback. So we kind of uh, select uh, some some people, some of them in China, some some of them outside China. So we basically de uh, design some uh, uh, questions. And then we go ask them, and then we bring back the answers, and we kind of edit them together, like a mix. So it's like a 
like a conversation among them. It's a, so basically it's a virtual conversation. Uh, so th those people in reality, they never can meet and see together and talk. <coughs> okay, the, here we have a, it's very small, but I can just uh, say, uh, we have a five topics uh, which we found is interesting from our practice. One, the first one is made in China. The founders mentioned uh, what's, the, what's the meaning of a made in, made in China. <coughs> and the second one is a be political or be polite. That's, we kind of want to talk about the uh, attitude as architect to practice. And then uh, I love nature. And then <coughs> almost famous, so talking about the media and architecture, and the realizable utopia. So the guests, the, uh, the dinner guests we invite, uh, include uh, different uh, people. For example, Ian Brumer, uh, he's a writer. And Cao Fei is a very young artist, contemporary young Chinese uh, artist. She's very critical. <coughs> And this is a doctor, actually one of our clients. He, he really loves architecture. He, he has a more architecture book than medicine book. And uh, <coughs> this is a, a, govern, a government person. She's, she's basically in charge of all the planning of the Olympic Beijing uh, uh, Park. <coughs> Jia Zhangke is a film director. He just won the Golden Line. He's very critical. Uh, in his all the early works was forbidden to, to show in China. And Jiang Qi Jiang Qi Hong, he's uh, this guy is uh, our one of our most important uh, client. And he's kind of a leader from state-owned company, which which is all the money come from the country, and those guys they control the national money. <coughs> and there's a Kuku is a, our rendering guy. And he he's like he's making all the renderings. Now even you know the the like UN studio like MRTV they send their model from Europe to to him and to, and to make a rendering. And <coughs> and this old guy is a taxi driver in Beijing. He he's complain about the city all the time. He's driving around the city. And <coughs> Lei Jin is our model maker. We, 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 all, the, all our model made by him. And, uh, he's immigrated to Beijing. And, uh, and Li Mengxia is, uh, is a fashion magazine editor. Ma Qingyun. Is now in LA, uh, Miss, <coughs> who already died, but <coughs> we kind of ask him question without answer. Um, Hans, um, uh, art curator, and <coughs> and the man on the right is a contractor who finish our the only project we, we have completed. Patrick Schumacher was my, my friend who's in London, architect. And uh, Shi Jian is an architecture critic. <coughs> and he's a higher uh, 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 He He thinks he's making the, the city more beautiful because he's going to make, make up all the people. The, and he, uh, Wang Bao Zhu is an uh, art curator. Wang Mingxian is an architecture critic, and there's a delivery guy. Zhang Yimo, I think you know that the director make film. Hero, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. He's always making this Kung Fu chi like Chinese traditional movie, and won a lot of prize internationally. And, uh, <coughs> Um, Zhu Xiaodi is a 
is a big architect in China because he controls 2,000 architects in his organization. They are making all the important buildings in China. They're making construction drawings. Uh, Jiang Jun is the uh, chief editor of Urban China magazine. Ai Weiwei is, uh, I don't know what he is, he's like an uh, artist, uh, architect, uh, critic. <coughs> so we have five topics in the, in, the, in the book, and we kind of, uh, every topic we start with is a discussion. So we, we go out, we, we, we just start asking the question, like, <coughs> What's like very general? Like, what is your impression of life in China? And we just continue <laughs> talking about different things. And then we have the first topic, made in China. Made in China. Um, this looks like a Walmart membership card. Always low prices, widgets, and the quality. Uh, made in China. Always. This is a like, like slogan, right? By by Walmart. Um, so we kind of try to um, explore what's the meaning of a made in China, and uh, we go talk with um, Ma Qingyue and because he's more interested in strategy, how to practice, how to communicate with the uh, with the uh, city and the, and the developer. He cares less about the design. Zhang Yimou, he made a lot of. Uh, in his early career, he made uh, different different uh, uh, kind of a uh, movie, but in recent years, he only made Kung Fu and very Chinese-looking movie, and uh, and won a lot of prize. So we go there, we, we try because we work together on the Olympic opening. So I kind of want to ask him what what the term uh, Chinese is. Should we always bring some traditional symbol, the color? <laughs> <coughs> then we back to the, 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 the city and the uh, urban issue. Uh, I, I quote uh, a, sentence, a sentence by Mao. He's, he, he said, only on a clean sheet of paper can the newest and most beautiful picture be drawn. That, that was a thought for the cultural evolution. Everything was uh, clean, and uh, we start over. And we, the, the, then we have uh, all the new things. We're supposed to have all the new things. <coughs> right now, because of China um, suddenly developed the, the, like, the money, the economic, allow architecture and urban to, to, to develop. So everywhere is, is building the new city. So here, I, I mentioned two projects we are doing. One is in West China, which is in you know, Inner Mongolia. It's very, used to be very wild, this uh, landscape. Um, very rich culture, um, um, and nothing. There's no, no big scale cities. And that, that's a photo I, I took the first time I went there. They, they already finished one um, government like city hall, this, this photo was taken on the on, on the top, rooftop of the city hall. The, the whole city planning was not not started yet, but they already finished the city hall. And then two years later, the all the roads finished. Some buildings started. This this is a master plan. Like they because the the, the China. Um, say we want to uh, develop west west part, so they they need them to develop very fast, and and the de and the like city leader, they every every round they have four years, they, so they have to finish the job as soon as possible, so they have this very rough master plan. Um, out of an international competition, I heard um, the winner was a Singapore architect. I saw, I saw it was strange because the whole Singapore is not is smaller than Inner Mongolia. How can they design the Mongolia? And so this is a master plan. The, the idea was uh, a, a big sun in the, in the middle and uh, it's like a sunshine. So 
So we were thinking we, we have to design a, a museum here, uh, the city museum. So we, we kind of uh, remember this image. Is uh, but but I I remember this image was used in a movie, a movie about Manhattan. Say that in the end of the world, the whole world full of uh, various. Uh, where people, human cannot survive outside this door. So only in here they can survive. Uh, so we submit this is like similar situation here to all the virus. Maybe we should build a, a door to protect ourselves. So <clears throat> this is early work. So at that time we did a lot of competition. Like found out we very quickly, like every every week we have a submission. So we didn't really have time to to think. So we just from that image we saw maybe we make a door, we just made, made it a submit. But they they choose it. Um, they, they said they said this is like a Mongolian stone because museum is supposed to you know the history long long time. Um, so stone is a similar stone deal with a time a long time. So they, they like it. So finally, <coughs> we we got a job and um, we had to develop. So so inside we we kind of uh, um, try to uh, create a new like urban feeling. So all the gallery we we put in several towers in, inside this door, and they connect by the bridge. So inside is different. Is that the, I think this year they will finish. Um, this is a construction photo. See the, the house next to, to our site. But those virus can grow very fast. Can, can, can eat the landscape very fast. The first time I went there, was, I can see, see some small hill. Now it's, it's become another very generic, very regular. City looking. This is another example. Uh, this in East China, um, which this is a, a, Tian, a city called Tianjin. Tianjin is a one and a half hour drive from uh, east to Beijing. Now, because Beijing is too packed, so the the central government want to push all the commercial and the business to Tianjin and keep Beijing more uh, cultural and political. Politics. <clears throat> so these are the ur urban planning. Um, they basically draw this grid and sell each grid to one developer or state-owned company. So all the national bank, all the national enterprise, they have to go there. They got order to go there and build a high-rise. So this is the, the, the model. They have. <coughs> And we were invited to, to, to do a competition on this site, site one. The, uh, the important. So uh, it reminds us the New York image, you know, Chicago, Hong Kong. The, the, all the Hong Kong has the mountains better, but all the other cities they are similar. The high rise blocks. <coughs> Tianjin. The Tianjin project, the image in 2012, is full of high rise. <coughs> this is right now, 2007. This is our site. Um, by the way, the, the state-owned company, they because the money uh, they have belongs to the country, and they never <coughs> ask private. Uh, architects to do job before, and uh, bef before the Chinese architects, they organized as uh, institutions. They are like all the big groups, every group they have a uh, two thousand plus architects. So they work as a group. So the design doesn't uh, mean much the, because they have to re produce, produce, and they kind of doing work for the government. But this time, this client uh, was a bit uh, brave. So 
he invited us to do the competition, and we finally we won the project. And uh, we didn't build anything like this before. Actually, we didn't build anything before. Um, and he, we, we for this book, we we asked him what 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 in your mind to invite us, and he wrote this uh, long, <coughs> long, long letter to us. The title was "Give a Chinese Architect a Chance." Um, was a <clears throat> very moving um, because at the, that time, uh, all the important buildings around China designed by foreign architects, and especially high rise. All the high rise, all the high rises in Shanghai, in Beijing, in Hong Kong, they all designed by big. Big office. So this first time, I think this this generation of a, in this power or level, they start to change. They are not like before. They they try to looking for some new ideas from from China. And he in his letter he said, uh, um, this young guy they can win the a prize. They can win a project in Toronto means they already on the uh, international stage. Why, why Chinese developer have always avoid them? Maybe we give them a chance. I think that's a quite uh, interesting. And we, <coughs> because we were so moved by him, so we decided to make a a nice building for him. Uh, not uh, a building about us. So I understand they they want something very like, uh, not expensive, very feasible to build and uh, <coughs> and green, green building, low energy. So we we kind of design a very simple tower like this, <coughs> but composed by many uh, honeycomb units. Like this, and we, they all the the, the units they are all the same, but opening uh, have a different uh, size. So the different opening response supposed to respond to the structure issue, to energy issue, and uh, and the views around the site. <coughs> By doing this, we don't have a, the whole building, which is three hundred fifty eight meter high. Um, the whole building doesn't have a columns inside. So we only have an inner core and the outer skin. The whole skin is very strong. Um, <coughs> and uh, this uh, unfold and vision of the tower. <coughs> so we introduce a pattern, a pattern composed by the, the different size uh, honeycomb. So the, the big pattern is a mega mega structure of the tower. So when we have a smaller hole, we have a more stronger facade. <coughs> the model. We have an off office at the lower level and the hotel on the, on the upper level. So in the middle, we have this uh, transition from honeycomb structure <coughs> transfer to a diamond structure. So we just try to make a very simple building, but uh, when because the the, the the pattern, so in when this building built in the in the city, the, you will see like a big image more than like regular scale building, like, like windows, doors. <coughs> <It's a model. coughs> so. We want to deal with uh, wh why I said this uh, made in China because made in China not necessarily only about uh, design. It's sometimes it's also about how you communicate with uh, people and and those people, developer, government people, those people with the power who are really making the Chinese cities. So when the architects you have a chance to influence them or communicate with them, that's the real opportunity. This uh, 
be political or be polite section. Just in Tiananmen Square, we have uh, we have this artist that took an interesting photo during the millennium, uh, a 2000 uh, ceremony. Uh, he only took two zero here, and uh, this is a national memorial. <coughs> So this section basically talking about how what attitude we should have when we communicate with those people. Uh, we interviewed uh, Huang Yar, the city official who's in charge of all the city planning. <coughs> and uh, he's, he's, she's a very um, positive woman. And uh, she said all the is is being proved. Um, all the citizens in, in, in Beijing, they, they love the new buildings, such as T CCTV building by Ram Puhas, and uh, the new stadium by Herzog of Tomorrow. <coughs> but in reality, we, we, we meet many people, we talk with them. They don't really care. That's so-called the landmark buildings, but when people don't care, the landmark building, I think, is interesting to ask why they don't care. The important build, the most expen expensive buildings in the city. Ian Bruma, he's very critical towards, so it's interesting to put them together. And, uh, <coughs> oh, by the way, the, this, uh, the first uh, um, project we, we did when, during the competition period, we don't have buildings, so we, sometimes we, we have time to to, to, to go out and walk on the street. So we, the photo we took on Beijing Street, uh, fish. <coughs> so we, we, we bought a couple fish, and they give, they, they, they give us a free fish tank. It's a cubic glass fish tank. And we, we, were kind of, we, we want to have this fish in, in our office. <coughs> but it's like, when we saw this photo, it's like uh, they were very poor. It feels they were swimming in this cubic plastic box and on the floor. And in the office, they, they, they have this new cubic glass, uh, but they always heat the, the, the glass. So we saw maybe the, the modern architecture is similar. It doesn't care people too much. So we start to record the fish, their movement, their behavior. And we, we kind of designed a new fish tank. Um, <coughs> it's still a, bo um, a box, it's, but uh, like a box start to melt. So all the surface can connect inside, outside, and become more complex. And we, we, we spent uh, <coughs> money to, to make it. That was a big money for, for our small office. And, and that, that's important. Uh, we spent the money. And, uh, and at that time was the first uh, Beijing Architecture Biennale. We were invited and we, 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 we saw maybe we, this is the only thing we can show. Um, we put a fish in the, in, in the National Fine Art Museum. And we have a small people here, small model, scale person. They saw this uh, architecture model. They ask when, when this can be built. <coughs> but I think it's in then looking back, we realize this interesting thing in this process is we pay them for this. Because in reality, architect has been supposed to pay for the construction. You work with a client who signed a contract and pay you the money. And, uh, but the real user of the building is the public who doesn't pay you and who you don't know who, who they are. So I think that's why <coughs> like many architects, they only work for a developer and like, they become the tool and they don't care what the society needs. Um, this a photo taken by my friend, um, artist. This is a young kid. They have a, this 
very like fantasy, right? Right. and then you, the this city they start to attack their dream. Very interesting photo. <coughs> In this city, we we did a one tower competition. Uh, you can see all the towers. They 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 build a lot of towers, but half of them stop during construction because the some financial crisis. Um, but they still want to build the, the landmark. They, they want to build the high high rise. So we we were invited to do the competition, and this is their competition brief. They always mention landmark, important looking. The, 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 New new century, all these keywords, you know, um, local culture. Is the is also the artist work? They have a building like this. They they didn't finish, but in order to have a better street image, so they kind of decorate the space and they leave the the building above. And this is some strange. <coughs> Here's a model of the city. So we, 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 we kind of uh, guess they will choose the proposal which is with, with uh, the highest uh, building. So we said uh, we can design the tallest building because they have, actually they have a height limit, 400 meter. And, uh, but in the competition brief, they said architects can, can propose the reason, the more uh, proper height to the city. I think they kind of encourage the higher building. Among all the submissions, we, we see many taller buildings than the 400 meter. Uh, we, uh, we can do higher, we can do the 800 meter. But uh, 400 meter up, and then 400 meter down. <laughs> And it's a, oh, the, maybe it's a, you know, for the for the developing city. It's always competing high. Maybe it's a, you need to tell them it's a stupid to compete in um, the height. Simply. So usually the the top of, of the building is a, the top the ambition. We we want the building look tired and the ambition back to the ground zero. <coughs> Um, it, I don't know. At that time, we we try to be, uh, I think, funny and uh, critical, because we didn't really care uh, if we can. Because for such huge project, we we, we knew we, we couldn't uh, win. Maybe just make some statement. Um, but later they got uh, angry. The, the, the government. <coughs> um, this is our some diagram. Uh, so the two towers they, they connect in the middle and the top. So they have this loop. We're thinking maybe this is a better than the this a typical high rise. We have all the floor same and repeat, repeat, repeat. And people is not uh, important. So here maybe we can encourage more circulation and then, um, <clears throat> and then we try to um, draw something some, some architecture drawing but it was useless <laughs> and even structure study what <laughs> doing that <clears throat> um, we invite uh, uh, we, we, we actually we mentioned this project to a structure engineer in New York and he was like, he really wants to do this building. He said, if I can build this tower, I've become the most uh, famous art, uh, structure engineer. But uh, we, we knew we won't uh, build this. But he's still working on it. So this is a competition we lost. And this, 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 uh, this is a three years later. <coughs> It's strange, you know, when we didn't win and they got angry, but the, the excuse always become uh, your design is over budget or structure is too difficult and, um, <coughs> and uh, it's not feasible to build. Um, 
But recently, in this one, two years, we meet many clients, people, they just came here, they said, <coughs> okay, in, in your portfolio, which one you want to build most and then you haven't built? We said, anyone, we haven't, any of them, we, we haven't built. So we just pick one, they said, okay, we can build that one. <laughs> so it, it's, it's interesting because uh, it seems the, 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 the structure, technology, money, they are all not the issues. It's about, uh, <coughs> about uh, uh, if they trust you or if they trust uh, the designer uh, or some ideological uh, issue. So because this one is going to be built, um, at the hotel we design in Sanya. Um, this is like 200 meter. But we can call this 400 meter because it's not similar. <coughs> and love nature. Uh, if you go to China, you get this uh, money, Chinese money. And on the back, we have uh, this photo. Uh, Sanxia is a sweet, gorgeous uh, river. It's a very beautiful, used to be very beautiful river. And now we make a big construction here and move millions of people away from this area. And whole landscape got some damage. <coughs> and it's interesting, it printed on the money. Um, so <coughs> uh, we interviewed Ms. Van der Rohe because I, we really love his work. And just try to ask some questions. Questions we, we like to ask, but no answer. Patrick, and uh, <coughs> this we did a study of the Miss uh, Miss uh, this Fansworth's house, and then we kind of uh, changed <coughs> uh, because we we got commission to design a house in Denmark. Uh, was interesting. Uh, a Danish client came to China and said, uh, I want to in invite you to do something in Europe. But that was the first time we, we really <coughs> go out and really have a, the chance to build uh, something in Europe. <coughs> um, but other, like, like the film people, music people, fashion people, they when they went, out to Europe or America, they bring traditional stuff. So we were thinking we cannot bring some temple to Europe. Stupid. Uh, but but the question is, we learned all the architecture from like modern architecture from Europe. So all the architecture education we have is from Europe, America. So what what, what we do next? Maybe we took this model and. Uh, <coughs> melt again <laughs> and uh, try to understand what Miss want to achieve. Maybe the integrate more building with the landscape, maybe maybe inside, outside more uh, integrated. So we kind of designed a house. Uh, we took exact, uh, exactly the, the, the size uh, of the house. But inside, we, we kind of start to make it Organic, and we insert some courtyard. We make roof, wall, and uh, floor column. They all connected like this. And uh, <coughs> and they like the design finally. And uh, then we said, okay, we we have we have to use new technology to make the house. We have to use uh, maybe some three D machine milling. The, the parts, <coughs> but uh, we have to look up, uh, t uh, look the whole process. Maybe we can build the whole house in China, and so we can really look at each process. Then we can move the whole house from China to to Denmark, <coughs> and they 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 agreed. So so our idea is because I, we did the one. Uh, exhibition in Copenhagen uh, called the Made in China. So we, we, our idea is uh, since we already start to design something, maybe we can test the production. Uh, because like Fang says, 
always made in China always means low quality, you know, the cheap, cheaper and uh, mass production. So maybe we can really try here. So now we are, we are making this in Shanghai in the factory. And then we have all the parts and then we put in the container and ship to Europe uh, later this year and assemble in Copenhagen. Uh, this, <coughs> the next building is all, this other building is about the uh, understanding of nature. Uh, this very small one, uh, it's just a roof. Uh, it's a clubhouse uh, in Beijing. They have uh, this beautiful lake and uh, we designed uh, this uh, clubhouse which is a tea house and uh, some swimming pool. <coughs> And we put it in the lake. <coughs> Some construction photo. <coughs> so the idea was very simple. We use one surface to define different uh, um, functions and space. For example, here the uh, in the future the, here will be lake. So we, we build this swimming pool inside the lake. So it's the same water as so it just jump. And the bridge <coughs> go through the the building. The finish. We have a <coughs> underwater path, so you, you can go here and uh, for you to build an like this. Got some the some interesting story about the big project <coughs> is <coughs> we have we changed the two structure engineer two structure engineer and the three contractor for this <coughs> tiny project. Um, not only because we want to change, it's just because they disappear. They, during the construction, one day morning, they just disappear. <laughs> because, uh, <coughs> I, like, when you see this photo, you can see the they cannot uh, meet the Know, the, the concrete uh, uh, platform and, and the roof. Yeah, when we submit the drawing, they cannot uh, accurate to make the platform. And then when, when, they, when the another group want to build the, the roof, they found the platform is wrong. And then we, go, we have to go to the site. You know, during the winter, it's very <coughs> freezing. And we architects measure the, the, the wrong platform, and we go back the studio changed the whole roof and uh, resubmit the, the construction drawing for the roof. <coughs> and the way we do the roof is um, we have to transfer all the 2D, uh, 3D information into 2D and print the one by one to one drawing and put on the steel and the cut steel in the form tree. So <coughs> I think that's explain why the many Many buildings in China is very simple, very, uh, it's more about efficiency and the speed. Um, because the speed they need is because they have to finish one very quickly and they, they will disappear because they found another good, better job. Um, and uh, because they disappear and uh, the schedule is delayed and uh, the client came and said, uh, if you don't continue, I just build a, a house by my, a design by myself. Build a, a, a brick house. But finally, we finish. Um, but uh, we, we kind of always question ourselves. It seems we make a lot of trouble. Um, it's a simple building, but uh, we make some trouble to the client, to the contractor, to the to all these people around us. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to to serve the community. This is still a question uh, because in 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 China, <coughs> we we try to push the the technology envelope. We say we okay, we design in three D with Maya, right now, But when we step out of the studio. The world is different. Nobody understands uh, how to do it. 
and uh, at the same time, China become the most like we have the most uh, uh, cell phone users in the world, computer users. All this high technology that they are being used in China, but but not reach the production level yet. We finished the building and uh, one curator from New York say, I want to include this in some digital architecture category. But we, we explain this is not really digital um, because everything made by, by hand. Um, this is uh, another competition we want to um, we did uh, in Changsha, a competition is about to design an uh, opera house, one uh, library, and one museum. And uh, in the competition brief, they mentioned a uh, Sydney opera house. We want the Sydney opera house, and, uh, and, uh, but we don't want to draw a Sydney opera house. So we kind of want to create an urban uh, landscape instead of uh, landmark buildings. So we, we put the three buildings together and uh, create one, one uh, surface. And the surface is floating, so uh, we can keep a lot of uh, landscape, uh, which is nature landscape, so people can work underneath the plaza, they can go on the plaza, work on the roof, all this. But at the same time, we, we just put uh, all the program in this uh, sandwich in, in the in between two surfaces. And then because the building we don't want to treat the building as a wallpaper. You go to every city to a photo in front of a, a landmark building. And so we want to avoid this wallpaper thing and uh, try, try to create an environment. Then we lost competition because we don't have a the main elevation. Uh, similar to the that 800 meter tower, we recycled this design for several times. Uh, we really tried to make it in, in, uh, happen in China. Um, this uh, Copenhagen. Because we did an exhibition there, and uh, they kind of liked the idea about a uh, Chinese designer presents in, in Europe. So they kind of give this a topic, which is very sensitive. No Danish architects want to touch. <laughs> this uh, uh, a space in front of their central station, uh, open to below. So they have uh, all the real tracks here. And they ask us to, to propose an art museum. And but this their main street we thought maybe to build a building here will become criminal because it blocked the most important building of the city. So <coughs> instead design a building we design this uh, landscape. We design plaza but we call this a museum without a roof. Uh, we have this uh, structure, which is have have the holes to below allow the sunlight and the air to uh, go to the underground, and also at the same time define the the, the plaza in different area, so they can have a uh, outdoor exhibition here, and at the same time the the passenger the the, the travelers they can go through this place. The spider, spider can move. We, because we didn't know it can move, but the mo when the model was in China, the spider was there, and uh, when it's in, in Copenhagen, the, the the spider was there. And then it brings some idea. Maybe better to move this uh, huge version, um, and the spider can catch people who. 
doesn't appreciate art. <laughs> okay, this is Beijing, a new CBD area, which uh, this area was full of factory. Um, now we're developing many high rise here. This is a tower by Ram, who has CCTV. So we, we, can, we have a site here, right now, here, to design a hotel, but much lower and uh, smaller than this one. It's our site. So we kind of uh, look at this image, it's like typical modern city. So that's what, why I said when we have uh, the chance to develop uh, we should be supposed to have opportunity to create something new, but when the schedule push, you have to achieve the speed, uh, and they don't have time to think. So this is just import some typical uh, model and make it happen. But maybe we can translate this to a new. Uh, hotel building. So we start saying, okay, we, we although we have a small hotel, it's not high, not big, but maybe we can by using this handcraft, <laughs> low technology, and to achieve something unique, uh, not same as other box glass box. So we start this. Actually, we start because a hotel you have a typical hotel rooms, so that we have to work with. And we start to rationalize, and then we have the skin. I hope this can be the structure as well. Uh, One hundred meter tall. Then I we unfold the, the facade. And this, the, the street, the CCTV, and the <laughs> we just uh, passed the, the schematic, uh, schematic design phase. Now we are doing the research about material and uh, what kind of a low technology we gonna use for the facade. Um, maybe some mixture between low technology and high technology. But we want to introduce this uh, kind of a small uh, move to this boxy context. Uh, so our initial idea was like a, a kind of a spider or some uh, animal come attack the boxy building and, and then change. Almost famous is a photo when the Ground Zero proposal by Lipskin was released. And we talked with Hans Urich, um, and he started to compare the architecture and the art. And uh, he, think, uh, he thinks our architecture is uh, less of a memory. Uh, when you create something, uh, you always want to abandon the old thing. It's not like art. Yet always carry the condition, uh, tradition. And this is a tower we did in Toronto. <coughs> it's all the newspaper and the magazine. And uh, we, we wrote this kind of five stage, stages of fame. Because this, this uh, project was basically the turning point of our office. After two years competition period, and we won the, this tower in Toronto, Canada. We become, became the first uh, Chinese architect to win a to win a project outside China. So I think ch China, because we grow so fast, and uh, they they think of oh, okay, we have money, we are so powerful, but we lack of the idea, and and, uh, and uh, I think they really looking for some something like this. 
But when all the media came, <coughs> we suddenly uh, facing some interesting phenomena. Um, five, stage, five stages toward fame, interest, stage one. Uh, stage two, praise. Then we, we caught all the, some media text. <coughs> Hysteria. It's like this, this article said, okay, my son when this uh, project in Canada is like a festival for all Chinese people. Skepticism. Then they start to say, okay, many criticize King. They, they are really young. They haven't built anything. How, how, why they should, uh, you know, uh, uh, show so much? Then score. That's uh, I think. Then later we realize this is like trained in entertainment industry, but the architect seems start to play with this. But it's important, maybe, you, you know how to play this in China. Um, because actually, in this, the, the later two years, we don't do any competition, and all the clients came to us. Now we refuse our, uh, projects every week, just because those interesting media. And uh, they start to trust young people. This is our office before in apartment, and now this is our new office. And this is uh, the one we went. So just uh, a high rise, but twisted. So our idea is very simple. We just try to create all the balcony around each floor, and when this twisted, you have uh, all the balcony little open to the sky. So we thought maybe we, we don't have to build the boxes like this, but do something more like nature. And then they, then they, we, 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 at the second phase, we kind of develop the building, become very rational actually. The, the structure is very simple. And uh, I heard the, the cost is 15% more than their previous phase, There's those buildings. Um, but they, the building, the whole, this condominium with 500 units, and they, they sold out in one day. Um, so they, they call us to, they want to launch the second building. Um, but they said, you don't have to come to Toronto. We just uh, copy the first one. We're <laughs> <laughs> willing to, to pay your uh, another fee. And uh, we, of course, we don't want. Um, because uh, they, why they love the, the first building? Because I think one critic uh, wrote, a paper, uh, wrote an article and, and named this building Marilyn Monroe. They said this curve looked like a woman, female uh, body. And I think everyone loves Harry Moreau and they came. Um, and then we talk what <laughs> this. And we talk with then we <laughs> call them and say you can you cannot have two Marilyn Monroe stand there. So we, we designed the, the the second one is uh, actually the first proposal was more edgy. Uh, more like pop, more, more street lines. You want to call that building JFK uh, <laughs> to continue their story, but they they don't like it. And uh, so the the second one we the first one was uh, 56 floor. The second one we just took the same floor, but the rotation, the rule of rotation is, is different. So, so we can use the same element but achieve a different the shape. And the facade treatment is different. Now, th this last week I was in Toronto, they already start 
uh, they finish the, the, the hole, the hole already, and they will complete uh, next year. That second tower all, also sold out. What is um, this? I don't know if anybody from Beijing in today because this uh, this a uh, a yogurt. Um, when I was a kid, is uh, they sell this yogurt in Beijing, and they don't sell this much nowadays. But everyone in my generation, they really, um, they really um, uh, love this. Not only because the taste, uh, this shape, this a uh, very rough design container. Um, you have a memory of it. Um, I think I wrote this small article about this because I want to respond uh, to some critic say, how this building look Chinese? Because you, that you don't have a, obvious don't have any traditional Chinese uh, element. And uh, my first answer was, I, I don't know actually. But later I start to realize um, why we doing curve, why we, why we, have all the balcony and uh, we don't have a structure up here. We only have horizontal lines, very simple. Maybe that's a chinese You, The way you want to uh, present the, the relationship between human and nature. Um, maybe we don't want uh, vertical lines to, to show the height and, the, and power which is modern architecture always want to show. Um, so maybe some, that's a, this is a horizontal one, a uh, bench. That's some burning, look like uh, the same, actually we did this before, the Marilyn Monroe building. Maybe that's the, was the, the original concept. It's another, uh, we did a, quite a lot of uh, small things as well. This uh, urban furniture, people can, can lie down, can sit there. And they are different, but they kind of in the, in a way they can um, be put together in Shanghai, the museum. The last part is, about the future, uh, called realizable utopia. Utopia is uh, for Chinese people. It's it's different. It's, um, when you have a dream, you in China you want to realize the next day. Um, you don't want to push the future far away. You don't want to, you know you don't want you don't need utopia. They want always push the utopia far away. You just when you have a dream, you want to do it. This very interesting photo, the many people, they dance on the street. They're very happy. And the interview, Jia Zhang Ke, he's making the documentary movie about contemporary China. It's a very uh, interesting person. He said that China is in a state when people do not look back to the past nor toward to the future. I think that's the reason why he's making Documentary for pre present. Uh, Wang Mingxian is, uh, is like a historian. Uh, he provides many uh, material to us from Cultural Evolution. He's kind of collector of all those paintings, material, drawings. Uh, this is uh, my student work for New York. Uh, the World Trade Center. I basically propose a, a, a cloud and uh, we introduce this mixture, mix, mixture and uh, propose a horizontal island floating above the city. That was 2002 when everyone proposed. And now, um, 
I want to, of course, New York is building something else. They very regular. I think they um, kind of uh, go back. Um, but Beijing now is making the new city, except CCTV is special, but other that is just uh, like New York, high rise. So we again propose this to Beijing. Um, we did a project about called 2000, Beijing 2050, it's about the future. Uh, after Olympic, because the future we have is Olympic, which is August this year. So the same idea, we have a horizontal landscape. So we have, we have, we need to achieve density. Maybe we can just duplicate the Earth, make a high density nature instead of high density object and high density uh, building. And uh, <coughs> Ram send the send the email to us, say thank you for the umbrella of our building. <laughs> <laughs> and we have this, uh, some, <laughs> we make some postcard look like sent back from the future. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, this is Beijing Hutong. Um, um, see those cars, they are modern life, they present modern life. And <laughs> people, they kind of squeeze in between the cars. And this construction, the cars. It's, it's very pity. Um, um, we, um, sometimes we, we, we just destroy them or we renovate them in a stupid way. So, so rich people can move in this neighborhood and so poor people who live there before they have to go to the suburb. Um, so the, na the whole neighborhood become quite empty when all rich people came and they need the cars. Right? And then there's no uh, life anymore. Um, or this become theme park. Many visitors, tourists came and uh, look around. But they, those people who live there, they still don't have a, a toilet. They don't have. A, they, they still go to public toilet. And the younger generation like us, we don't go to those area because they don't have a gas. They don't have a, all this. It's still very low quality life. So we saw maybe this uh, another topic. <coughs> so we we did a survey of one area of uh, Hutong. It's very beautiful tower, and we kind of insert some new uh, bubble, which is private toilet, uh, some small office for young people, some pe uh, space for kids, and uh, just replace some old building so they kind of old, new, they um, insert the future bicycle mix kids, postcards. <laughs> uh, this is a, a drawing, uh, confidential, it used to be very confidential drawing and we got from uh, Wang Yuxian. This was a drawing, uh, a design to renovate the whole Forbidden City. So this is a Tiananmen Square. We have this uh, National Congress Hall, and here is a National Museum, and this is a Tiananmen. Right now it's still Tiananmen. But, but during the Cultural Revolution, we, want to, we wanted to replace all the historical building by those big scale Russian style buildings. Um, and all the city planning as well, the wide street, they all follow the Russian. There's a photo when I was a kid, they have a, when we have a national ceremony, we have this military patrol. And we just make a, a, a proposal, say we want to um, transfer this square to a, a forest. 
So we, we plant a lot of trees and also on the street and uh, many cultural facilities underneath the trees uh, underground. This is uh, the National Opera House by Paul Angel, uh, French. We also planting trees on the building. So you come on mountain, a hill. You, you can still play opera under the hill. Uh, we kind of like the nature idea, but in here, nature is not only nature. It's, uh, it's tur turning this very political uh, empty center into some space very human and free. If this can happen, I would imagine the, the whole city of Beijing, maybe even the whole China will change because right now the all the city planning is uh, very much represent the social structure, which is power, powerful. Uh, that's why I think that's one why uh, that's one re one of the reasons why Chinese uh, never think about the far future uh, because it's already being decided your life. You know the this from politics already decided rule of society, so you just live under this rule. Um, but that's, another, that's also the reason why we can move forward so fast, because the less people make a decision. We don't have discussion, which is sometimes waste of time. Um, uh, but here, we try, there's no commission, no some other. Uh, government people ask us to do this. We just try to present this to the public. Uh, even some newspaper in China, they don't uh, publish this. But we can try to start from bottom to, to up, maybe. Uh, in some future, some people will be interested. Postcard from Beijing to London. And then the, the book finished, we have an afterword. We have a dessert uh, by Ai Weiwei. He's basically uh, uh, criticized everything, including us. So we thought maybe inter interesting to put these words here. Uh, so this can just kind of start of uh, all this discussion. Now we want to do um, further uh, when the book, the book is published by Acta. Spanish publisher, and then when this book being released, and I want to bring this book to some uh, cities. Where is LA? No LA. Um, but we want to continue the topic, uh, meeting more people, and uh, see what they think, and uh, and uh, later we can probably bring something back to China because. I, I can very clearly understand we are very young, only four years. It really needs time to understand with what we are doing in China and why we are doing that. So we really think besides practice, we need extra time to, to understand, to, to try to do other work to, to understand this. Um, that's all.